the chairman of the APC in Cross River State, Alphonsus Elba, joins us now. Thank you for coming to Newsnight. Thank you. My pleasure to be with you. Now, uh, it's, it's becoming uh, worrisome that after uh, the APC uh, began another administration, the party is still having struggles with its internal politics. Uh, what signal does this send to the rest of the nation? I'm actually as worried as you are. Worried because the same injustice that made us in Cross River State to abandon PDP and came to APC is what we are about to see. And the answer cannot be far-fetched because I hate injustice, I hate oppression, I hate lies. We were with the national chairman yesterday, as you rightly saw, and he assured us that this matter will be resolved. We wrote to Mr. President, we copied every important stakeholder in the party, and we're duly assured that this matter will be resolved. But 40 minutes ago, on my way here, I've just been notified that the national chairman is right there, the national secretary of our party, swearing in the purported persons that have come on board to fill the vacancies against due process, particularly as it relates to Cross River State, Kogi State, and Abia State. For Boronu, for Kaduna, and some other states, and Nasarawa, there are no issues because the due process of law was followed. Article 31.5 of our APC constitution is very clear. And I call on Mr. President because he's a stickler for due process. He went to the crucible to become Nigerian president. He should not allow some persons to destroy his government. APC at the moment is not having it so well. We struggled in Cross River State to wrestle power from PDP, a traditional uh, PDP state, Cross River State. We brought APC into government in Cross River State. So, we are not fools. So what you're saying right now is that the APC national chairman and some others, especially the newly appointed NWC uh, appointees that, are, that have led to these disagreements are right now in the APC secretariat being sworn in. I have just been told that now. And I sent my boy there. He confirmed that the place is barricaded by more than 50 to 100 policemen. I don't just know what okay, will be we'll happening have to this night. We will have to independently uh, verify that. Verify please that. do. And just could you please elaborate on the specific concerns raised by your the leader of the Cross River Camp uh, regarding the appointment of the new national woman leader? As far as we are concerned, there is no national woman leader. The former national woman leader, Dr. Mrs. Beta Edu, by the kindness of Mr. President, mm -hmm. was elevated to the office of Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation. All thanks to Mr. President. That seat became vacant by that exercise. And in compliance with Article 31.5 of our own APC Constitution, it is only Cross River State and a choir bomb that jointly shares that position that is supposed to fill that vacancy. During the net meeting on the 3rd, where that exercise was supposed to take place, the Senate President and my governor had an understanding before Mr. President and the name that we had followed due process, Honorable Dr. Mrs. Stella Oreme Odeepo was forwarded from the State Executive Council through the Congress to the Zonal for endorsement. All these processes were duly followed. And we had no issue. When the NWC sat last week on Wednesday, the memo of NWC is still there that confirmed that Dr. Mrs. Stella Oreme Odeepo has been duly nominated in compliance with the due process of law. But we were shocked that on Wednesday, on Tuesday, we had a meeting with the national chairman. I'm the national secretary of Forum of APC chairman. We had no inkling that there was going to be any issue. 
And I want to hold brief for Mr. Chairman. I do not think he's the master of his mind in what is going on. There are some new sheriff in town, some strong characters who were reduced to vegetables yesterday, have only come back now to show strength. But they should not forget because the table will turn. The strong men in Buhari's administration yesterday, some of them are languishing in detention. So we don't need strong men. We need strong rules to, be, to guide our actions so there will be no problem. The governor of Kogi State is angry. He spent over 10 hours yesterday at the secretariat. I was in the secretariat till 1 a.m. yesterday, early hours of this morning. Look at my eyes. We would not take this nonsense that they are talking about. We would not accept it. I have spoken with my governor. He has cut short his break. He's landing in Nigeria tomorrow. Okay, while we, we appreciate your, your sentiment, your feelings, and uh, your dissatisfaction with the situation of things, I uh, would also suggest that you just temper, <laughs> temper your language so that it doesn't come across as... Uh, as um, I am in my calmest on form. Anybody, anybody that knows me yeah, knows I don't take right. nonsense. It, it's okay. And it's pure nonsense and will not take it. It's okay. So are you now, are you now by inference, are you pointing accusing fingers on or to the uh, national chairman? Are you saying uh, the national chairman is being uh, pushed by certain puppet masters? Yes, because I was with the national chairman yesterday, but he said, and he, he spoke said, like a responsible leader. Mm -hmm. And he did assure us, and you, you listen to him, that it would be a win-win situation. Uh -huh. And the simple appeal I made was, Mr. Chairman, the governor of Cross River State is not around. I've spoken with him. He is coming back. This is a zonal issue in South-South. Right. Cross River State is the only APC state in South-South. Issue of leadership is clear. The governors are the leaders of their various states and their zones. And that is how it was. Yeah, today we have a Senate president, Senator Akpavio. And I had to put a call across to him. Luckily, when I called him, as, uh, Adam Semet, Senator Adam Soshomole was with him. We spoke and I told him, please, don't allow this injustice to happen. We need peace and unity in our zone. And the Senate President assured me that Senator Adam Shomole, who is the brain behind this whole thing, mm -hmm. because the lady is from his state. And I saw him celebrating and dancing to an illegality, to an unconstitutionality. But I trust in the fact that Mr. President, as a stickler for due process, will do what is right. That is the only assurance I have. That is the only consolation we have. That the right thing must be done. Or else, or else, the consequences well, will be grave. Well, while, while we confirm some of the things that you said, the APC chairman referred to these disagreements as a family problem. And he says, look, we're going to take steps to reconcile these differing uh, uh, viewpoints. Do you believe in this sort of diplomacy to achieve the unity of the party and at large the nation because APC is the ruling party and if the house is crumbling then the whole nation crumbles as well. I am an optimist for peace and I believed that yesterday and I still have the full confidence that absolute power does not reside with the NWC. We only donated these powers to them. I'm a member of NEC. We respected Mr. President when he requested that we should donate powers to NWC. Out of 37 of us in the NEC, we can call a NEC meeting, and Mr. President will come back and say, no, this infraction that has been done should be corrected. So I have absolute confidence in Mr. President. He can resolve this matter. That is why I've written to Mr. President myself. But don't forget, even if you call it a family affair, there is no unit in the family that is stronger than a man and a wife, husband and wife. And sometimes disagreement can lead to divorce. So please, we don't expect that this should get to that point. And don't forget what happened in PDP. The moment those three governors left, they could not find their way to the villa. APC should not use its own hand to destroy itself. Please, they should not because some of us suffered too much for this party. Thank you very much indeed, Alfonso's Eba, APC Chairman, Cross River State. Uh, we can only uh, wish you all the best as you try to navigate uh, this crisis. Thank you for coming to Newsnight. Thank you.